is my desire to honor you Jesus, oh, every prayer that I 
forsaken and every moment I'm away. Can you say that? That every moment you're awake, you live for Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, I give you.
Father Lord, we thank you, thank Jesus, you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Because we have victory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just worship God this morning. Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I give you praise. Just begin to just begin to love on God this morning. Lord, you are highly exalted. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen. Blessings and glory, wisdom, thanksgiving, and honor, power and might be unto the Lord.
month has been declared our month of gratitude. Why not lift up your two hands towards heaven and give thanks to your father. The scripture says it's a good thing to give thanks for his mercies endure forever. Lift up your hands and lift up your voice this morning and show gratitude to God for his faithfulness, for his mercy, for his kindness, for provision, for giving you victory on every side. Libra ko shata labado ke zeta labado sha. Libra ko shata labado ko shata labado sha. Malika sombra da kashanda libra ko soto. Malika sombra kashanta libra da zota. How are we? There is one person like that leper in the Bible that went back to Jesus to say thank you. Lift up your voice and say, Lord, thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for preserving me and my children. Thank you for fighting my battles. Thank you. I can hear your voice this morning. Let us go to the Lord. Let us go to the Lord. Oh, we give you glory. We give you glory. Oh, we give you all the glory. Oh, we give you honor. Oh, we give you all the glory. Oh, we give you. Oh, Jehovah, we give you all the glory. Oh, we give you honor over my life. I give you all the glory. Hey, I give you all. Oh, praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God, praise God. Amen. Hey, praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hey. I'm just going to give you 30 more seconds. To lift up your voice to your father and give him thanks the bible said it is not by power it is not by might it is not by your expertise or your intelligence but the lord has been faithful to you the lord has been good to you the lord has been faithful to you the lord has been good to you he has not allowed you to mourn this year he has not allowed you to bury this year the lord has been faithful the lord has been faithful the lord has been faithful no matter what we go through we still see his hands the lord has been faithful lift up your voice this morning and say father thank you oh rakashanta libra gadosha libro kosakata liya dadosha baraka zumbe rakashanta in jesus mighty and powerful name we are prayed 
I want us to pray just one prayer this morning, even after you have given thanks to God. Uh, something very funny happened this morning. Uh, you know, I went for a walk, and when I came back home, I said, I'm ordering my family up that we have to go to church. We have to go to church. I got the children ready. You know, I got myself ready. And then my wife came to me like, what is wrong with you? I said, what? It's time to go to church. She said, no. It's just 8 o'clock. I said, yes, workers' meeting is 8. She said, no, workers' meeting is 9. And I looked at the time, it was 8 o'clock. And I said, what is this? You know, I took off my clothes. I took off my children's clothes. I said, we have one more hour that we know nothing to do with it. Then we sat back. And but when I went for a walk this morning, the Holy Spirit spoke to me. That man is in charge of time, but not season. Man could turn back the hand of time, but they could not talk about season. And he used the scripture in the book of John chapter 5 to explain to me better the man at the pool of Bethsaida. He understood time, but he did not understand season. When Jesus got to him, Jesus said, would you want to be made Oh, He said to Jesus, he said, every year the angel will come and steal the water. He said, but I don't have a man to help me. For everyone under the sound of my voice this morning, in this month, of November, you will not lack help in the name of Jesus. If you are the one I'm saying to say a better amen. amen. And Jesus asked him, Would you be made oh? In other words, forget about time. Season is standing in front of you. The Lord said, I should tell somebody here this morning that you may have lost your time, but He wants me to tell you that your season you will not lose it in the name of Jesus. So, one prayer you're gonna pray with a loud voice is Father. Father. No, I, I don't like the way you are sounding. Say, Father. I will not lose my season in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray in this month of November for the remaining days of this year. I will not lose my season. I will not lose my season. I will not lose my season in the name of Jesus. I can hear you pray. I can hear you pray. I will not lose my season. I will not lose my season. My season of breakthrough. My season of open doors. My season of blessings. I will not lose this year in the name of Jesus. Libra ko shanta la bakasanda. Parika shanta libro kosoto. Paraka shanta libro kosata. In Jesus mighty and powerful name we have prayed in the book of genesis the bible says joseph was locked up for the sin he did not commit but he told one of the guys that he interpreted a dream to it too that when you get out there mention my case to the king the bible says that guy forgot him he forgot him and the holy spirit told me this morning that it was because it was not his time if joseph had been released at that time where would joseph have gone to is it Potiphar's house or his family that sold him out but when his season came, no man could stop him. I decree and I prophesy over your life this morning that this is your set time. This is your season. And no power from the pit of hell will stop you in the name of Jesus. One more time you're going to cry to God and say, Father, I will not lose my season. In the name of Jesus. That man at the pool of Bethsaida almost lost his season. I will not lose my season. You will open our eyes to see. I can't hear you pray this morning. Libra Kashanda Libra Kosoto. Barika Shanda Lika Zota. I will not lose my season. I will not lose my season. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I don't know who you are. You may have lost time. But the Lord said, I should say to you this morning, because He said in the book of Joel that He will restore all the years the caterpillar and cankerworm has eaten. This morning in this service is your season of restoration. Oh my God. I say it's your season of restoration. In the name of Jesus. Perhaps there is anyone in this room this morning you have lost a season. The Lord will restore this morning. In the name of Jesus. One thing I want you to ask this morning before I leave here. What is your expectation? What do you want the Lord to do this morning in your life? Mention it in 10 seconds. Go ahead and pray. Pararu akwa sa digo branca doka shinta libra gazonta lika broko shanda ligo zonta libra gadosha. He says, as you are spoken into my ears, so I will do unto you. So shall it be for you in Jesus' name. Father, we declare the service open in the name of the Father, 
in the name of the son and in the name of the holy spirit i want us to shout three powerful hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah praise the lord
the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Count your blessings and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Amen. Let's worship God this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Just be in the mood of worship this morning. If you want to speak in other tongues, speak in other tongues. Lord, you are worthy. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah to your name. Hallelujah to your name. Hallelujah to your name. Lord, I exalt you. Thank you, Jesus. This is holy moment when God was. The lion and the lamb. This is holy moment when God walks in on. God this morning. This is holy moment. Just bring the mood of worship. When God was in on us, every day is on the
Just ask God, say, Father, breathe here, breathe upon me this morning. Breathe upon me, O Lord. Breathe upon me in thy name of Jesus. Just talk to God, say, Father, here I am, O Lord. Yeah, I'm in your presence, O Lord. Breathe upon me this morning. Breathe upon me, O Lord. Breathe upon me in the name of Jesus. I don't want to live the same way I came, O Lord. Breathe upon me this morning. Eka daraba sheke terebo, marigere masin terebo kire makan. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for your kindness towards us. Thank you, Lord, for the good things you are doing in our lives. Thank you for all the blessings you have released upon our lives, O Lord. Thank you for what you are doing in your church. Thank you for the glory that shines upon us. Father, we lift your name on high. Take all the glory. Be thou exalted in thy name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We have come to you, Lord, with a grateful heart to say thank you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Praise the Lord. Let's put our hands together. Let's appreciate God. God has been good to us. Has God been good to you? Has God been good to you? Shout a powerful hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Let us open our Bible to Psalm 100. Psalm 100. And I read, that's from verses 1 to 5. A song of praise for the Lord's faithfulness to his people. Make a joyful noise to the Lord. All you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. Verse 5, for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. Praise the Lord. We know this month has been declared to us as a what? Month of gratitude. We should come to God with a heart of gratitude. We should learn how to serve God with gratitude. And the Lord will bless us the more in thy name of Jesus. So, my message this morning is titled, A Heart of Gratitude. Praise the Lord. If you look at the psalmist, he's a man who knows how to be grateful to God. He knows how to express his gratitude to God. He looks back and see how God has kept him. Has God has saved his life. Has God has raised him from nowhere. This was, David was just a shepherd boy. When God said, ask someone to go and anoint him. Among all his brethren, he was the least. Nobody reckoned with him. Even his father did not even reckon with him. But God decided to choose him. When he was called to the palace to be playing uh, strings for the king, <laughs> the king almost killed him. He ran away. King Saul was looking for him everywhere. Running from cave to cave, God kept him. Up to the extent that he has to go and take safety in the land of the enemy. He ran away. He fought several battles. He won. How God supported him, he was always grateful. If you read the book of Psalms, you will see how grateful he is. And he was to God. And God never forgot him. A grateful son will get more blessings. We should have a heart of gratitude. 
in whatever we are doing. And God will forever favor us in the name of Jesus. I said you will obtain favor from God in the name of Jesus. So, the psalmist is that Psalm 100. is telling us that we should make a joyful noise. What is a joyful noise? What is a joyful noise? To make a noise is to shout. Is to, you know, joyful. The noise that is palatable. Not just noise of uh, weeping, noise of uh, money, noise of no. When you give a child something that delights him, you will see his face, isn't it? If we put on a very smiley face, a face that is uh, you know, appealing and uh, inviting, friendly. So, the Bible is telling us that we should make a joyful noise unto the Lord. When you, are, when you have a heart of gratitude and you are making that noise, it will show. It is not, oh, let us go to the house of God, we begin to grumble. No. God sees the heart. God looks at the heart than the action itself. The heart, God sees everything we do. Let's go and worship God today again. Ah, if not this Sunday, maybe I should have been sleeping by now. God has seen your heart. Let us be glad to come to the house of God. The psalm is equally said. He said, he my heart glad is when I hear, let us go to the house of God. It is the best place to be on a Sunday morning like this. Where else? But some choose some other place to be. Some even choose to go to work when they have an alternative or an option. They choose one thing over the other. Let us put God first. When you put God first, <laughs> The roads that were closed before will begin to open unto you. Favor will begin to follow you. But when you put yourself first, God will say, oh, you can do it by yourself. He will be looking at you. There you find struggling. You will be struggling to succeed in that thing you are doing. Because you did not want God to do it, do it for you. Or do it in God's way. But when you put God first, God will begin to direct you. Things will begin to fall together for your good. Some disappointment, you will think, oh, this, this is disappointment. But you will know that God has orchestrated it to happen so that another better one can come in his stead. That is how God works. When you hand over everything to God, God will begin to show up in your life. But let us have a heart of gratitude. And the Lord will lift us up in the name of Jesus. So when we say make a joyful noise unto the Lord, we are saying that, oh, we should be glad and shout the name of God. And let, you know, when we are making that noise, we are asking that we should express what God has done in our lives. What has he done? You look back. The hymn that was sung said, if we count our blessings and name them one by one, <laughs> say it will surprise you what God has done. God has done so many things. He has given us salvation. The salvation he gives us is enough to sing praises unto him. The fact that you are alive today is not by your power. You, you, if you look by, you must have, you have uncountable number of people that you grew up together at the same, maybe waiting the same age mate that are no longer alive today. The fact that you are alive is not that you, you are better. It is the mercy of God that kept you. Is that not enough to give glory to God? Or give thanks to God? 
You drive on the road. People have an accident, just a little accident, they are dead. But you drive up and down, day and night, God kept you. It's enough to express our gratitude unto God. And we will give thanks to God today in the name of Jesus. I said we will give thanks. In the name of Jesus. Brethren, he said, we should bring the right spirit into the, into the house of God. Come with the right spirit. You know, in those days when that is the, during the dispensation of the Lord, the priest must go into the Holy of Holies with the right spirit. He must go there with the, with the good sacrifice. Otherwise, he won't come out. Today, we come to the church with, you know, the, the way we want. The way we, we just want to do things our own way. Because we are under the dispensation of grace. Grace is, will be sufficient for us in the name of Jesus. But then, don't let us abuse the grace of God upon our lives. Don't let us take God for granted. We continue to behave the way we like. We continue to live in sin. And say, oh, you want to come to church on Sunday? You put on your fine clothes and come to church. You know, begin to raise up holy hands. God is not mocked. He said, let them that name the name of the Lord depart from what? Iniquities. God knows those that who? That are his. He knows. Let us live a clean life. Live a life that when you are giving thanks to God, you, you, you are free in your heart. Nothing, no inhibition. When it's time to say, oh, let's give thanks to God, you dance out with full confidence that your thanksgiving will be accepted. Whatever is in your heart that we make that thanksgiving not to be accepted, you need to settle it with God first before dancing and say, oh, you want to give your thanksgiving. And God will help us in the name of Jesus. I said the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. So, he said, make, that make is telling us, is another word for make a music. Music is something that is sweet to the hearing. When you hear music, even if you don't understand what they are saying, sweet music, you enjoy it, isn't it? There are some other music they won't even sing, but just the instrument playing, you will just be enjoying it. And that is what God wants us to do. And God will help us in the name of Jesus. So, we must make music with a joyful heart that is confessing his attributes and all that he has done, done for us. Then, the third one is that uh, we should make a noise. Noise, as I said, is something that is sweet to hear in the ear. And God will bless us in the name of Jesus. Brethren, Psalm 40 verses 1 to 3 tells us that what the Lord did for us when he saved us, that he gave us a new song. And God will give somebody a new song today in the name of Jesus. I said God will give you a new song. Because when God do marvelous things in somebody's life, people will begin to look. They will open their mouth. They begin to sing. Sarah said, ah, that what God did in her life, that people will laugh with her. People will begin to laugh. God will make people laugh with you in the name of Jesus. Also, 
He said, we should come with the right spirit. We should call on that name of God. Acknowledge his greatness in our lives. Acknowledge all that he has done. And God will be encouraged to do more. And God will do more in your life in the name of Jesus. I said the Lord will do more in the name of Jesus. That which you are believing God for in this year will be done in the name of Jesus. This is the 11th month. God will do 11th the eleventh month miracle in your life in the name of Jesus. As we give thanks today, God will do great things in Jesus' name. The Bible also went on to say, now we should enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Praise the Lord. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. What is thanksgiving? It's a heart of gratitude. Come with appreciation. Come with confidence that God has been good to you. When we say, oh, let's come and thank God. Let's come and show how God has been good to us. You know, in those days, they would carry their crops they will carry their, uh, what they have harvested in the farm and bring them to church, isn't it? Some churches still do it. They call it what? Harvest, exactly. They still do it. When you look at the year, the year has been good to you. You planted and they grew and they were able, you were able to harvest. The harvest were plenty. You bring some to come and show and appreciate God. Say, oh, God has been good. And those things were they will be sold or they were sold. They will be they will be they will sell them and use the money to for the for the work of God, isn't it? But we don't do that. Come with something tangible to tell God, oh, you have been good to me, and God will receive your thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. I said the Lord will receive our thanksgiving today in the name of Jesus. Brethren, when he said, Come, enter his gate with what? Thanksgiving. And what? And his courts with praise. Let's sing praises to God. Some people will not be standing, looking at others the way they are singing, eh? enjoying the demonstration I mean, of people around you. No. You are supposed to do your best. Sing. Sing from your heart. Singing is either a worship or praise. Worship is telling God what God can do. Acknowledging his greatness, his power. Praise is to show what God has done in our lives. You are acknowledging him. Oh, you are thanking him, praising him because he has done great things. He will do great things in your life in the name of Jesus. So, when we are in the presence of God, we are not supposed to be quiet. We are not supposed to be, you know, sullen. We are supposed to be happy. Put on a good smile, a good face. Friendly face. And God will help us in the name of Jesus. You know, when you see some people, when you see by their side, ah, <laughs> something will tell you, maybe you should give space because of the way the person looks, isn't it? But in the church of God, we should be friendly. If you are not friendly, people will run away from you. May people not run away from us in Jesus' name. This is a family. We need to be friends and love one another. How can we love? What, how can we say we love God when we do not love our fellow brothers and sisters we are seeing? How can you love God that you don't see? So, if you are able to love your brothers and sisters that you are seeing, then the love of God will be there for you, and God will help us in the name of Jesus. So, as we come out today, let us sing praises unto unto the Lord. 
and God will receive our thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. He said, for the Lord is good. He has always been good to us. I have not seen anyone that God has failed. I have not seen anyone that say, oh, God disappointed me. No, it is we that disappointed God. Because one way or the other, we have not obeyed God. Or one way or the other, we have not taken that time to ask God, what is the next step? We begin to chart our way for ourselves without asking God, what should I do? If you ask God, God will show you the right path. His ways may not be logical, but at the end, it will always prove out to be the best. God will give you the best in the name of Jesus. I said God will give you the best this year in the name of Jesus. So, we should learn how to walk with God. God is not a magician. God has principles. If you follow his principles, it will be well with you. There are some blessings that goes with God's, with the principles of God. Anyone who follows it, God we will receive the blessings of God. But I tell you, the blessings that God is going to rain upon your life will be transgenerational blessings in the name of Jesus. He said, for the Lord is good and his mercies is everlasting. God, he said, God has an open hands calling on us to come unto him. Don't run away from God. Don't do things that will create a gap between you and God. Move nearer. Praise the Lord. Let us move nearer to him because his mercies are everlasting. He will always be ready to forgive. If you feel today, oh, you have gone too far. Maybe God will not be able to forgive you. God is always ready. He said the Lord does not desire the death of a sinner but to come unto repentance. If we are sorry, we have a contrite spirit, heart, to say, oh, I have sinned. Lord, forgive me. God is always ready and he will forgive you. He is always ready. If we confess our sins and forsake it, don't go back to it again, but have the heart, oh, I will never go back to this sin again. Forgive me. And God will be ready to forgive. He's a merciful God. Let us move close to him and God will keep us close to himself in the name of Jesus. I said the Lord will draw you close to himself in the name of Jesus. God is forever true. Whatever he says, he's able to do it. He said for with God nothing shall be impossible. God is our God is a God of possibility. If he says he will do this thing, he will do it. Don't let us begin to doubt. Don't let us begin to, you know, begin to think otherwise. Let us strengthen our faith. If you, he said, if your faith is as little you as a mustard seed, you can tell a mountain, be that removed and be dumped into the sea, and it will be done as you have commanded. Faith. The Bible tells us that without faith, it is impossible to please God. So let us come with great faith. If you have faith, it will be done unto you as you have said. Praise the Lord. Say, be unto me according to your word. The word of God is there. These are promises that God has made unto us. He will be by us. Wherever you are, is in the fire, is in the water. He said, it will not hurt you. He will be 
by you. Whatever situation you are today, God is with you. We need to acknowledge that God is able to intervene in our situation and he will intervene in the name of Jesus. Once your ways are right with him, leave the consequences unto him. God knows how to come in and he will come in in the name of Jesus. Brethren, this year is our year. I said it before, God has told us that he's going to do great and mighty things in our life. If you have not experienced any any good miracle, any great miracle this year, you can still do that. All you need to do, go to God. What do I do? And God will show you what to do in the name of Jesus. I can tell you, miracles abound here. People who have been with us for this year, one year alone, look at January and see where you are today. You will know that God has been faithful. And God will continue to be faithful unto us in thy name of Jesus. I said the Lord will be faithful unto us in thy name of Jesus. So his word is ever true. And it will be true in our lives in thy name of Jesus. God is not only is not only concerned with one person, it's concerned with groups of people like a church as we are. God has been faithful unto us as a church. We have testimonies. Come to our vigil. That is the time we can say oh, we really have time to give testimonies. Shortly, you'll be hearing people giving testimonies of what God has done. Things that we think is impossible. People have been out of status. But God restored them back. Miraculously. We have had several testimonies. And God will continue to give us testimonies in the name of Jesus. Your own is coming in the name of Jesus. Before the end of this year, you will have your own testimony. I said you will have your own testimony. If you are the one, shout a powerful amen. amen. You will have your own in the name of Jesus. Brethren, today we'll be giving our thanksgiving. Today is a thanksgiving Sunday. It's not a day of long sermon. We are going to dance when it is time for that. Dance out with a grateful heart. Come with your offering. And give your thanksgiving. And God will bless you in the name of Jesus. As I said, if you know you have something in your heart that you need to settle, before you do that, you need to settle that. And also, God works with people who are serious. Serious people have Christ as their Lord and Savior. If you have not surrendered your life to Christ, before now, today is your day. You need to settle that first of all. So our God will begin to deal with you as a child of God. As one of the families, when we say, oh, this is a family of God, <laughs> you have to be sure that you are part of the family. And God will bless you today in the name of Jesus. So let's be on our feet. Let's stand on our feet. Let's begin to talk to the Almighty God. Say, Father, thank you, Lord. You have been good to me. I can say confidently that you have been good to me and my family and your church. You have been good, oh Lord. What can we say unto the Lord? All we have to say is thank you, Lord. What shall we say unto the Lord? All we have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All we have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
Thank you, Lord. All we have to say is thank you, Lord. Brethren, we are going to talk to the Almighty God. Say, Father. Say, Father. Father. Every attempt to be ungrateful. Father, cancel it from my heart in thy name of Jesus. Any attempt, oh Lord, for this devil to suggest ungratefulness into my heart, Father, cancel it in thy name of Jesus. Let everything in me be used to, your, to, to thank you, Lord, for all that you have done in our lives and in your church. Father, glorify your name, oh Lord. If we look back, we won't be able to count all that you have done, O oh Lord. You have been faithful. You have been steadfast. You have been glorious in our lives. Father, we can attest to that. We appreciate you, O oh Lord. Thank you, Father. And in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Be unto me according to your word, according to your promises. I can stand secure upon my heart, the truth that sets me free. According to your word, O oh Lord, be unto me. It shall be so for you in Jesus' name. Praise the living Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Let's stretch our hands to our pastor. Let's begin to pray for him. Let's stand on the rock that never fails and pray for him that it shall be well with him. Let's pray for double anointing for him. Let's pray that his head will never lack oil in the name of Jesus. Let's pray that no evil will befall him and his family in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Brethren, let's open our mouth and pray for him. He has watered us. Let's water him back. Let's soak him in the precious blood of Jesus. And let us pray, as he has taught us to have a heart of thanksgiving, that he too will not be an exception in the name of Jesus. Let's pray that God Almighty will continue to be his pillar of support now and forevermore in jesus mighty name we have prayed praise the lord praise the living jesus it's testimony time testimony time according to the book of psalm 89 verse 1 psalm 89 verse 1 it says i will sing of the mercies of the lord forever with my mouth will i make known thy faithfulness to all generation and if you look at the account of the children of israel also in the book of exodus chapter 15 exodus chapter 15 verse 11 when the lord saved them from the hands of the egyptians and through everything when they have a good mind of what god has done when they were able to appreciate god they sang unto God and they said, Who is like unto thee, O Lord? Among the gods, who is like thee? Glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders. We have a God of wonders. This is the month of gratitude. If you look back since January up to this time, God has been our support. God has been our pillar of support. We have been enjoying the goodness the mercies of God, the grace of sleeping and waking up. We have been enjoying divine touch, divine faithfulness from God. 
brethren i believe we have one testimony or the other if you have testimony can you please signify by raising up your hands i know we have testimonies 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 god has been so good yes sister esther yes our sister there okay no, number one sister esther you are number one my sister over there you are number two testimonies do we have oh, okay sister ivy number three do we have from the back okay let's start because our sister is amen there is a song that has been ringing in my head you are the mighty God and he let all be true you are the great I am Alabara you are the mighty God and he let all be I just want to thank the name of the Lord because you know God has been faithful and I just sat down there and I was just thinking of what God has done in my family in my home since the beginning of the year and if I don't share this test if I don't share testimonies if I don't come out to just give gratitude because this is a month of gratitude then I'll be ungrateful um last year towards the ending of last year my family back home we you know we started praying and we made it every sunday we constantly you know just pray together and we have several requests that we tabled before him and you know god has been answering those prayers just one after the other one after the other i just want to worship the name of the lord for that so uh my mom was my mom is a she's a nurse and she she retired this year hallelujah um she, this month so last year she was working at a place that was very close to home to home and it's like a walking distance to the house so you know it was just like few months to when she was like few months to when she was going to retire they just posted her to a very far place that she has to like it's a very long journey and that road is a very bad road it's one of those places that you don't even want to travel to so she called me and she was like ah Dave I said don't go just see that how much is your salary <laughs> you know I was just we were all so worried because we're like this woman is going to retire soon why would they post her in such a stressful far and ridiculous place you know but we didn't know that god was using it for a purpose in her life you know that place she was posted to what is the headquarter of the old um government uh, local government where she works and god used her to set a a pace in that place to to change the record of so many things she was able to i, I know that now she has retired her name will not be forgotten because god used that when, when when that place happened we thought it was a mistake and everything but god proved to us and throughout the times that she had to travel all the way to that place almost every day in the week god kept us safe and sound i just want to worship the name of the lord because he's a faithful god hallelujah praise the lord we thank god for mommy's retirement we thank god for the faithfulness of god over the family May what God has done be permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Number two. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We just want to thank God for everything. Thank God for this year honestly um, it hasn't been easy it was a lot going on and of course moving added to that as well but I just wanted we wanted to thank God especially for this church 
um, there's a line that we sing we are a family we are one before we close and we've experienced that so heavily in this church like we have experienced acceptance and warmth from every member of this church so we just want to thank God we want to just praise the Lord for everything also I thank God I got a, a new job here a job that even back home I couldn't even get so here it was just a miracle we just thank God thank God for Peoria thank God for Redeem thank God for the pastors for everyone that has helped us it really really means a lot so we give God all the glory um, in, in addition as well um, the job that actually brought me here I've been trying to get this job for over two years and it just happened like a miracle like there's so many things that happened that I cannot even explain coming here um, we're just grateful to God for everything over my baby over my wife over my whole family every like I cannot just explain how grateful I am but I just want to praise God for all that he has done all that we do and all that he's doing right now uh, praise the Lord hallelujah thank you church you are welcome the heritage of the hairs are many when you belong to the hairs you have a lot of blessings and what God has done in your family shall be permanent in Jesus name we also thank God for the new job God gave to you and we pray the hand of God we continue on your family in Jesus name Praise God. Number three. Oh, sorry. And there's just a song that has been in my heart. Um, I'll tell the world that I'm a Christian. I'm not ashamed. His name to be. I'll tell the world that I'm a Christian. I'll take him with me anywhere. I'll tell the world how Jesus saved me and how he gave me a life brand new. I'll tell the world that I'm a Christian I'll take him with me anywhere you know I, I, I just think about Jesus sometimes and I'm like what, what, what would life have been without him and how Christ has just been reflected in everything that concerns me and my home my children and my husband. I want to just give God praise that I am a Christian and I carry Jesus wherever I go. You know, uh, a friend of mine um, called me the other day and said, uh, my sister, I just want to um, testify to you and tell you what God has done. My husband, um, for some reason, was having chest pain. And he, he was very uncomfortable with that chest pain. And um, usually he's a, he's a person that never complains about anything. And when he was complaining about this, she knew that this must really be very intensive in him. So um, long story short, um, eventually um, they went to the hospital. He was brushing his teeth one morning. And then when he was brushing his teeth, he coughed out blood. So, um, no, he wasn't brushing his teeth. He was doing something else that wasn't brushing his teeth. And he coughed out blood. And then she was like, cough again. And she, he, he coughed again and blood came out. I was like, no, this is serious. Let's go to the hospital. So when they went to the hospital, um, they did scans and all of that on him. They didn't see anything. And then they, he was an antibi antibiotic. So when he came back home, um, he now noticed that the chest pain was even getting even worse than before so then they went back to the hospital again um, because he could barely breathe so when they went back to the hospital again one of the doctors was like uh, let's just do um, a CT CT scan on, on, on him so when they did the CT they found out eventually that he had a clot 
underneath his left lungs. And he was just a very hiding somewhere under his left lungs. And um, they didn't understand how that clot got there. So she was just giving, you know, testifying and telling me about it. And I was giving praise. And then I was like, can we just go on a fast? Myself and, you know, yes, God has done something, but let's go on a fast. So we went on a fast, a three-day fast together. So we're always doing a 66. She's never done it before. I said, let's just try. So we did the 66 for that three days. After the third day, she called me and said, do you know that my son was playing basketball? All of a sudden, he slumped and he fell. He was shaking like he was going into um, con convulsion. He was just shaking. And they rushed the son to the hospital. They couldn't find anything. Nothing was wrong. They didn't, couldn't find what was wrong with him. The thing came out of nowhere. And the boy was literally as if he was fighting for his life. So we never really knew what the enemy was fighting, but the enemy was fighting against that home. And the reason why I sang that song is the fact that she could call me was that there was something she saw that she's like, you know, I need to be able to connect to this person, that we are Christians. Wherever we go, we carry Jesus. And it reflects in things we do, but we don't know when people see us. And if she did not call, and we didn't take it upon ourselves to be able to wait upon the Lord. Who knows? That same boy, two days ago, just wrote his um, SAT and he got 1,200 as a score. I did that SAT. So he himself did, herself, she didn't understand. I was like, we were F1 students, so we know. We wrote an exam. That SAT, I got 780. So I was screaming. I was like, he did what? He said, in fact, that the boy wants to write the exam again because his target goal was 1,400. The father was like, calm down. Calm down. The same boy. You know, I, 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 I'm just reflecting on in her life and seeing Christ in my life, in my family, in our homes, and saying in everything, I don't know what challenge you're going through. I want you to know that you carry Jesus wherever you go. It might not show, it might not be showing, you might not know, but people around you will feel it. And God will continue to strengthen us in every challenge that we go through. And he will carry us through as we are Christians representing Christ on earth. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Uh, the grace to continue as ambassadors of Christ, God will grant unto you and grant unto all of us in Jesus' name. The Jehovah Rapha that has healed him will make the healing to be permanent in Jesus' name. And we thank God for the boy's success. Now we want uh, any other testifier in the home before. Oh, okay. Yes. After the testimony, uh, Pastor Mrs. Mafidon will pray for the testifiers. Praise the Lord. I didn't plan on giving this testimony. I didn't, I never, the Spirit keeps uh, pushing me. But I just had a rethink and thought about everything. It is so great. I want to thank God on behalf of my family throughout the year for all he has done. He is great and he is mighty. Thank God for my wife. Thank God for all my family, even my dad and my little brother that traveled to Nigeria this year. It wasn't easy. They went and they came back safely. I'm grateful to God Almighty. Thank God for my little children, uh, especially this one. About last one, she, she was sick. Uh, she had a RSV. But we're grateful to God Almighty. So on behalf of my family, I just want to say God is good. I have a song to sing, but I have one major testimony. This is for a friend of mine in the UK. Uh, <clears throat> the wife had a, what is it called? Fibroid. And they had been planning on uh, operating the fibroid appointment, keep her getting counsel, postponing, stuff like that. Eventually, they had a scan, they had a test, the fibroid is already huge, 
resting on our, our kidney and everything. So eventually the appointment they got an appointment i think uh, last month like 15 or so, 17 to be precise and everything was done successfully i just want to praise god for that and for the family it was a success my son goes does by and i want you guys to please sing with me i didn't know you will favor me this way I didn't know you would favor me this way, Baba. I didn't know you would favor me this way, favor me this way. Thank you, Jesus. I didn't know you would favor me this way. I didn't know you would favor me this way. I didn't know you would favor me this way. Favor me this way. Thank you, Jesus. I never know you will favor me this way. I never know you will favor me this way. I never know you will favor me this way. Favor me this way. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank God for all he has done and for all he is still going to do. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We thank God because we know in the book of Luke 137, it says, With God, nothing shall be impossible. We thank, we thank God for the family of our brother. We thank you for the healings. We thank you for mercies. We thank you for the family you are standing in God for. What God has done shall remain permanent in Jesus' name. Uh, in the absence of nobody else, I know all of us are testifiers. And our testimony shall be full in Jesus' name. Uh, Mommy, Pastor, Tayo Imafidon, we help us pray for the testifiers. Praise the Lord. So please let all the testifiers stand up and let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we want to thank you as a church. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy. Thank you for all that you have done for us. And on behalf of our members, oh God, the testifiers of today, we thank you. We thank you for healing. We thank you for turning around, oh God, situation and make good thing out of a seemingly a bad situation. We return all the glory to you for making us to represent you well, even in the world that we are. Father, we thank you for healing. We thank you, O oh God, for protection. We thank you for the family, O oh God, that you have shown kindness to. We thank you, O oh God, for making us to belong to a family of God. We thank you, O oh God, because we are one body. Though we are many, different tribe, different tongue, different nationalities, O oh Lord, but you have brought us together, O oh Lord. Father, King of glory, be exalted in Jesus' name. Father, we commit all the testify of today unto your hand, O Lord. Father, all that they have testified, O God, will not turn around in for evil in the name of Jesus. We seal all the testimony with the blood of Jesus, and so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. None of the testimony will be reverted in the name of Jesus. And I pray, my Father and my God, that as a result of that man that came back to testify, O Lord, you make his own healing to be whole. Father, King of glory, make their testimony permanent in the name of Jesus. And I pray, my Father in heaven, before the close of this year, O Lord, more testimony abound among us in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I never knew you favor us this way. I never know you will favor me this way. Thank you, Jesus. In my language, probably I will paraphrase and summarize. They said, an ungrateful person or somebody without a heart of gratitude, he said he's similar to an arm robber. Somebody who came, you did something for, it's like somebody who came and packed all your load and never returned. That is 
how an ungrateful person is being uh, half semblance and that is why we need to develop a heart of gratitude this morning to be grateful to the lord and to be grateful for all he has done for us i want us to rise to our feet this morning as we give to the lord we can give via several means via text to give via paper via zeal via checks and if you also need uh, an offering envelope uh, the uh, the usher will also pass that across to you i want us to be grateful to the lord this morning i want us to show a heart of gratitude through our words because when we give to the lord our substance it is just a single a little part of it but that art of gratitude that art of worship that voice you give to him that movement you give to him as a sign of god i am grateful it is what the law requires of us this morning choir Part two is coming very very soon all right and we are running fast with time and that is why um, i skipped uh, the declaration i want us to pray on our offering this morning eternal rock of ages as we have offered ourselves unto you offered our voices offered our mood of appreciation to you offered our substance to you daddy please accept us and accept our seed in the mighty name of jesus lord god almighty let this seed speak for us in the mighty name of jesus let it speak favor let it speak open doors let it speak healing let it speak promotion let it speak liberation unto us in the mighty name of jesus eternal rock of ages as we, even as we continue let your presence be with us in the mighty name of jesus let there be joy and gratitude let it fool our mouth and our household in this month and for the rest of this year in the mighty name of jesus Thank you, eternal rock of ages, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. I want us to have our seats as we are rounding up this morning. Um, we see have our Thanksgiving that is going to come up after um, I leave stage. Is anybody worshiping with us for the first time this morning? Anybody worshiping with us for the first time this morning? 
Anybody watch me for the first time? Okay. So, we just some couple of little announcements that we want to give before we wrap it up. December 15th, 15th of December. That's a Friday. It's going to be our Christmas carol. So, that's going to be a Friday. Please make sure we are available to be able to celebrate one another and also return all the praise back to God because the Lord has been good to us. If we count 365 days, how many people started this and how many people are able to finish that 365 days? But God has been good to us. He has been good to our families and may his name be praised in the mighty name of Jesus. So in light of that, in light of that Christmas carol, we won't leave it up to just the choir to do it alone. The men, please make sure we meet to strategize how we're also going to give our own Christmas. <laughs> I will present on that particular day. Men, can I hear you? Okay. We don't disappoint, right? Don't worry. We'll show you what it, what it means on that day. So, wait for it. The women as well, they also require that they also should plan along to also prepare for their own carol songs. The youth as well, we are also going to do we need to meet as well. The children, the department as well, who we also need to prepare something, please. We're just announcing this ahead. This is probably about, we have still about weeks ahead. So let's plan, let's start planning from now. Let's not wait to the last minute. Let's start planning from now. So in the light of that, men, uh, pastor said we should wait after the service. We'll be waiting on this side for a brief meeting. Men, please let's not forget to finalize on our outing on Saturday. Our outing is this Saturday or not next week. Oh. This Saturday, this Saturday that we have we have entered a new week. This Saturday, let's not forget. Okay. If you miss it, I'm repeating it over and over. You'll pay a fine. So uh, let's wait after the service to finalize all that plan about our outing and also regarding the Christmas carol. And I think Pastor Mrs. also said the women, when the men wait, the women will also wait as well. But we men, we finish our own discussion on time. So, we'll finish very, very early. <laughs> um, let's also not forget the youths also, please let's meet so that we can strategize regarding um, how we're going to proceed with this Christmas carol. Please let's meet, we'll meet in the children's church. We'll meet the youths, uh, we'll meet after the service let's not forget this and also workers in training will start next week workers in training if you have volunteered uh if you have showed your intention to me that you want to be part of the workers in training we want to start before the year goes to an end we want to start another session uh, by next week so let's strategize on what we'll do after the service please kindly see me so we can uh kick start uh, on the date and lastly, lastly, before we play our regular announcements, the Salvation Center soccer team. We still meet. We meet every Sunday in indoors now. So please kindly make sure you avail yourself. Uh, so let's do some practice. We'll be practicing 5.30. 5.30 this evening. 5.30. It happens here inside the basketball court. All right. I don't know if you want to play... I'm not sure if we need any announcement any further. I think we should be done. Amen. Oh, prayer meeting on Monday. Yeah. We have our prayer meetings every Monday from 8 to 8.30. Please kindly uh, make sure you join. Okay. Let's, <laughs> let's play the... <laughs> let's play our... Let's play the, uh, the announcements. Good day, church. Good day, church. Welcome, Welcome to this to glorious this service. service. If this is your first time of worshipping with us, we are so glad to have you in our midst. We ask that you please pay attention as we bring you this week's announcements. On Monday, we have our teleconference prayer meeting at 8 p.m. 
This is where we all gather as a church to place our request before God. The Bible says that if two of us agree concerning anything, it will be done by our Father in heaven. To be a part of this powerful prayer session, please dial 309-305-3488. On Tuesday, the good women meet online and pray at 8 p.m. interceding on behalf of the church and families. If there's a man to pray to, there is definitely a God to answer. Please dial 309-305-348. 88 to join. On Wednesday, we have our Bible study at 7 p.m. It's an interactive session where we dig deep into the Word and arm ourselves with tools for the victorious living. You can join us in person here in the sanctuary or watch us live on Facebook and YouTube. Every last Friday of the month, we have our night vigil. This is where we have our anointing and communion service. It starts at 10 p.m. You can join us on YouTube and Facebook. On Saturdays at 5 p.m. we have our workers meeting. All workers are expected to attend. On Sundays, the workers need to review the open heavens and pray for the service at 9 a.m. Yes. And at 10 when we give God thanks for a new month, you are encouraged to dress. Now, if you're yet to join a department in church, engage. Search RCCG Peoria. Links of different meetings are shared on our member WhatsApp page. Thank you for being a part of the family. Have a blessed week ahead. Sending virtual hugs. We love.